TikTok stars who ruin their own career. It's even easier for stars to go off track thanks to social media. Drama is always brewing in social media and TikTok is no exception. But so many other prominent figures have managed to destroy their reputations with good old word vomit. Other names are just impossible to forget. And so, here are TikTok stars who ruined their own career. By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. Gabby DiMartino Gabby DiMartino issued an apology after receiving backlash from fans for an insensitive TikTok video in which she compared her weekly spending habits to a friend's. The since deleted clip showed Gabby and Alex sitting next to each other in the car while sharing how much they spend in a week on expenses. Alex, who said she works as a secretary, reveals that she spends $50 to $100 a week, while Gabby said around $9,000. After posting the TikTok video, Gabby received backlash from fans who said that she, quote, wanted to flex how much money she has. Others thought the entire thing was tone deaf. In her apology, the internet star said they, quote, didn't put much thought into the video before uploading it. The way it was delivered was horrible, Gabby said, while apologizing to her millions of TikTok followers. I'm sorry I hurt you guys, and Alex, I'm sorry to you as well, even though you said you weren't bothered. You live and you learn. I'm very, very sorry. Gabby's apology came about a month after addressing the constant hate she receives from fans after detailing her recent plastic surgery procedures. DiMartino has had several controversial moments over the last few years, but they've been mostly benign. Several months back, DiMartino had a bitter Instagram battle with her twin sister, Nikki DiMartino. The pair exchanged words after Nikki posted a photo of herself and her sister on vacation. Chase Hudson. Cancel culture seems to not apply when he does wrong, but will that change when it involves golden girl Charlie D'Amelio? Hudson, who is popularly known as Lil Huddy, trended on Twitter as the users want him canceled for allegedly cheating on his former girlfriend and fellow TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio. The duo started dating in December 2019 and even turned heads with their PDA until it all came to an end when rumors regarding Huddy cheating on Charlie began making rounds on the internet. However, many users couldn't help but wonder why Huddy was being cancelled all of the sudden over something he is believed to have done a long time ago. And some noted that he should have been cancelled much earlier for his racist comments, which was long due. Although Huddy enjoyed impressive clout from his TikTok videos, he made headlines and grabbed a lot of attention for using the N-word in one of his old videos. He later explained to his millions of fans that he is of African heritage, which was further supported by his brother, NC senior Ashu Ebot Tabi, saying, quote, I'm tired of all the haters online always trying to slander my brother. We practically look identical. I don't understand what the problem is here, unquote. Chase Hudson is overdue to not only be canceled, but discontinued until he truly educates himself, takes accountability, and puts in the work to be a better person. Nessa Barrett Nessa Barrett has been getting some serious press. The TikTok star made headlines alongside boyfriend Josh Richards when Josh released a diss track calling out Chase Lil Huddy Hudson. Josh and Bryce Hall, members of the Sway House, claim that Chase, co-founder of the Hype House, was trying to hook up with Nessa. To add insult to injury, they also claim that this was all happening while Chase was dating the most famous girl on TikTok, 16-year-old Charlie D'Amelio. Now, Nessa has found herself at the center of another media storm, and this time, it's not so flattering. In April 2020, Nessa uploaded a TikTok to her 6 million followers, dancing to an audio clip of someone reciting a verse from the Quran with the caption, Fave Sound. According to Distractify, Nessa immediately received backlash for the video. Fans flooded her comment section, saying the video was tone deaf and offensive to the Muslim community. She initially turned comments off before deleting the video altogether. Nessa has since made multiple apologies for the TikTok video. Many fans did not accept her apology, saying it didn't seem genuine, particularly the I think I'm sorry part in that it seems she still did not understand the gravity of her actions. 
Nessa also posted an apology in her comments and on IG stories. However, many fans did not accept those apologies either, calling her out for playing the victim card. Many believe that with such a big platform, the team needs to do her due diligence before posting things online. They say pleading ignorance is no excuse. Zoe Laverne. Zoe Laverne has been involved in a whole load of social media drama. The 19-year-old social media star has been canceled on the internet after a scandal involving her and a fan went viral online. She's decided to take a break from social media following the drama which has been a hot topic of conversation online. The drama all started when a video was leaked to Twitter that saw Zoe kissing a 13-year-old fan called Connor Joyce. Zoe started getting a lot of backlash on social media, and it developed into a huge scandal. Following the leaked video, a rumor started spreading around Twitter saying Zoe had been arrested after kissing the minor. However, this was fake news, and Zoe was not ever arrested. Zoe addressed the video on her fan Instagram. At the time, Zoe was unable to access her main Instagram account, so she took to her private fan page profile, at zipfandom2.0, to address the video. She then continued to say that she had told Connor's mum that they kissed, and apologized multiple times, claiming she knows what she did was wrong. After posting the statement on her private Instagram, Zoe said that she was going to take a break from social media. However, she returned much sooner than expected to address the situation again, this time on her main, at Laverne profile. The social media star took to Instagram Live to address the video where she was seen kissing 13-year-old fan Connor Joyce. However, Zoe's Instagram Live apology wasn't received well by fans, and she was met with even more backlash from fans. Following the scandal, Zoe took a break from social media. Clap Daddy. Another online personality is being accused of acting inappropriately towards minors, specifically underage trans men. Multiple people have alleged that TikTok star Clap Daddy, whose real name is Colton, made unsolicited sexual advances in person or over the internet. Fellow cosplayer Ava Lee was one of the first individuals to expose Clap Daddy's alleged misconduct, telling her followers that the 22-year-old has a quote, clear history of fetishizing trans men and saying sexual things to them. Following Ava Lay's message, a trans minor named Lucas, who goes by at vegetarian underscore water on TikTok, claimed that Clap Daddy would talk about visiting him in Michigan and even asked the then 16-year-old to get a hotel room for them both to stay in. Since publicizing his experience, Lucas has posted screenshots of messages from other trans minors saying they've had similar encounters with Clap Daddy. One accuser wrote that he first met the TikTok Mafia creator in November through his brother. Clap Daddy has since responded to the allegations with a seven-part statement on TikTok. Clap Daddy was quick to address the allegations online about the situation, what Ava had said, and those who had come forward. The California native defended himself in a lengthy rant posted on the video sharing app. Quote, Now I'd like to tell you the accusations made against me. That I am a groomer. That I am a pedophile. That I am a predator. That I fetishize trans men. And I fetishize trans minors. Clap Daddy reiterated. When describing his actions, Clap Daddy failed to see how his behavior could be construed as flirting. Quote, No, I do not flirt with minors. As you can see, with everyone posting their pictures that I've talked to them, I've only complimented them," he insisted. Personally, we can see why some would characterize that as flirting. Still, Clap Daddy maintained that he was, quote, raised with good morals and values, and that the accusations against him are wrong. Nothing's ever truly private on the internet. Many have not been satisfied with Clap Daddy's response thus far, so we'll have to see where he takes the drama next. Who among these TikTok stars did you unfollow? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue giving you the best content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.